Hey everyone. On this video, I've always wanted a uh, Pelican case for when I'm doing my portrait shoots. It's just easier than carrying a backpack, but I've never, I mean, it's all, every time I've looked at them, they're <laughs> quite expensive and I just never, never pulled the trigger on it. So I did see the ones that are at Harbor Freight and I looked at a couple reviews on those. They look like pretty nice carriers. But I've just always had my heart set on a Pelican case, and so that's what I was going to get at some point. And then I just got lucky on one of the auction sites that I was looking at. Somebody had a Pelican case for auction, and I put $50 bid on it because these get quite expensive. And I was pleasantly surprised that I ended up winning the bid. So I went and picked up my Pelican case, and it didn't have any foam in it, so that's quite a bit of an ex another expense. I didn't realize how much the foam would cost me. So I did find some foam at B&H Photo for, um, I think I got used foam, which or open box foam, which I guess is fine. It didn't, it's the pluck style. It didn't have anything plucked out of it. It was just open box. So I got another $10 off. So I think I ended up getting it for $89. So not bad, 50 bucks with the $89. You know, that's, that's not too bad, $140 for everything. Um, I was pretty happy with that. So now that I have my case, I'm going to go ahead and start. Um, I got the pluck foam, so I'm going to go ahead and start plucking the foam out and see what uh, to kind of get my setup here. So I'm looking at uh, how to lay everything out. I have it laid out now. I'm going to mark it, and then I'm going to pluck everything, and we'll see how uh, how it looks. So I'll show you now how, it's gonna, how it looks um, as I have everything set up in there. And then obviously once I finish and get everything put in there, I will finish the video with how I set it up. This is what I have set up so far. I have my G9 Panasonic, which is my main portrait camera that I use. And then I have my backup, which is an Olympus OMD EM5 Mark II. And then I have my film camera, my Minolta 7000. <clears throat> and then I have my lenses that I use. This is the Olympus lens. The uh, 60 mil 2.8. It's a it's a um, micro. You know, it's um, why am I not coming up with this? It's a macro micro. It's a macro lens. Uh, so anyway, uh, but it works very well with portraits. You get a nice blur in the background. Oh, are we getting out of focus here? Here we go. Then I have a 25 uh, Lumix 25 millimeter 1.4. Use that quite often. Then I have my Minolta 35 to 70 film. That's for the film, and also a 50 millimeter Minolta for film. This is my Kodak, my film case. So I keep all my. Let's see if I can get this open. Keep all my film in there. Looks like some of them have decided to uh, roll over. This works well. I like the hard case. Keep the film in there, and I'm going to set that upright to put it in there. Like that. It's kind of my layout. And then I have this empty space. This is where my uh, next lens is going to go that I get for portraits. I'm not sure what that's going to be yet, but maybe a 75 millimeter 1.8 Olympus, or I don't know. We'll see. Um, and then I have them here. Let's get in focus here. My flashes. And my flash trigger. Now these are going to stand upright to give me a little bit more room. So this, this is the flash that came with my Minolta 7000. It works terrifically. This is the my TT560 speed light. So use that quite often. So that's all going to go in there like that. And then that leaves me room for my where my my battery pouch and some wires and things is going to go right in here. Oh, let's get focused. Yeah, once I pluck that out. So that's sitting up in there. So I still have plenty of room. Because uh, I do want to get another, at some point, 
get another speed light, one of these, and then I have room for some more, uh, other lenses if I plan to do that. And then hopefully someday we'll, might even upgrade a camera. So that's the setup now. I have the, as you can see, this is the pluck. So I'm going to pluck that out where I need to and get everything put in there. And then, oh, this is my other Olympus. This is an EM10 Mark II. And this is my backup to the backup camera. So I don't usually take this with me, but um, you never know. So anyway, this was actually the first camera I ever bought. So um, that I bought new. I bought other cameras, but always use first, my first camera I ever bought new. So anyway, there we go. And now I'm going to take a Sharpie, mark these or toothpicks or something, mark my slots here. I'm also gonna, oh, I forgot to mention, I'm gonna stand the cameras up like this. So again, give me a little bit more room. And you just need to, I think they said keep two. So where these plucks are, you need to keep two, a gap of two between everything, between the outside. Maybe I'll do three on the outside. And then, uh, yeah. So there we go. Time to get plucking. All right, well, I finished up my Pelican case. As you can see, oh, it's upside down, but 1610. So let's see what we got. And here we are with everything inside. So I have my G9, EM5 Mark II. And hold to 7,000 maximum flashlight comes in handy. Here's my trigger, flash trigger, my 50 or 20, I'm sorry, 25 1.4 Panasonic. This is my macro. <clears throat> Olympus 60 mil 2.8. This is the Minolta 50 millimeter for my film camera and a Minolta 35 to 70 for my film camera. Here I have my film, so keeping this little Kodak metal pin, some black and white, and some color film. in there and I have just a bag of odds and ends batteries wires um, just things I might need I have a little Olympus flash here that came with my M5 but you never know I might need that and I have my other part of my flash triggers two of those I have my Minolta flash here, and then I have my speed light TT560 here. So, plenty of room for expansion in there. Um, I was I was thinking of what else I could put in there, and then I thought, you know what, I'm just going to hold off. Um, have some other things that might. I'm hoping to get a new camera at some point, maybe put that in here or up here. I have another lens I want to get for, I have room for two more lenses and then whatever other, I want another flash will go here at some point, another speed light and then whatever, but plenty of room for expanding. So there it is. It works nice. I'm real happy with how it turned out and yeah. This was real easy to do too, just to pluck style. So I just kind of put my piece on here, then plucked out where I needed, and then some of them I had to pluck out the next layer, uh, which was pretty easy to do. And then if I, because of the depth, so if I had to pluck out a little more than I wanted as far as depth, like this, I just put, I kept the little pieces that I plucked out, put those in there, and then it keeps my, 
because I don't want this to be all the way in. So it holds my depth on there. And I did that on a couple of the lenses too. Yeah, I have some pieces left over and I just put those pieces that were left over from doing the plucking and uh, put those in the bottom so that I could uh, manage the depth on how deep I wanted things to sit in there. But again, for a used Pelican case and some foam, uh, worked out real well. Thank you very much.